So one of the seven or eight graphs that you were supposed to memorize, um, supposed to memorize, contained x squared plus y squared equal to one. Do you remember what this graph was? What's the graph of this? Yeah, it's, it's right here. It's a circle. But circle of radius what? One. One. And you can figure that out by plugging in one and zero. If you plug in one squared plus zero squared, you get one, right? So I know that one comma zero is a point on this graph. Uh, also, if you plug in zero and one, it's going to pass through here, which is zero comma one. Right? And then here, negative 1 comma 0, 1 works as well, because if you have negative 1 squared gives you positive 1, positive 1 plus 0 gives you 1. Right? And then in the, for the same reason, 0 comma negative 1 will be a point. So you have basically a graph that passes through these points. What can it be? Well, if you uh, put some more points on this picture, you'll eventually see that it gives you this circle. Now, uh, with the same reasoning, try to see what's the graph of this equation. What do you think the equa uh, this equation gives you? What kind of graph? Uh, <coughs> Would it be bigger? It'll be a bigger circle, right? It'll be a bigger circle. It'll be up, it'll be up to, four, to four. No, it'll be up to two because, see, th this is equal to four, but then uh, if you think about it, this, when x is two and y is zero, two squared is four, zero squared is zero, zero plus four gives you four. So two comma zero will be a point of the circle. Okay? It's not four comma zero, it's two comma zero. And then if you try to work out using the same criteria as before, you'll see that this graph better be passing through these four points, and the circle that goes through these four points must be this one, which is like twice the size of this circle. Right? So uh, since x squared plus y squared equals to 4 gives you radius which is square root of 4 equals to 2, that's, that's our radius, uh, you can see that in general the following is true. If you have x squared plus y squared equals to c, then the radius is equal to square root of c. So this is the first important fact that you will learn. Uh, if, you, if we had more time to just change this number to like 4 and 9 and 25, some other square numbers, uh, and then look at the graph, you will always see that whatever number you put on the right side, taking the square root of that number gives you the radius of the circle that you draw. Okay, but then, now think about what the following equation will be like. If you have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 2. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's, let's put 16. So first of all, this 16 means that the radius is 4. The square root of 16 is 4. But then these minus 2 and minus 3 is going to move the circle to a new location, right? So uh, if you had x squared plus y squared equals to 16, you're going to have a circle of radius 4 centered at the origin, but this is going to move someplace. Okay, first, x minus 2. This minus 2 makes the graph move? 2 to the right. 2 to the right, okay? How about this minus 3? 3. 3, three where? Down. No, no, up. up. Three up. The thing is, you're thinking of the case when you have y equals to something and then minus 3. In this case, this minus 3 is going to uh, make the graph go down by 3, but then, see, this minus 3 is over here. If 
if minus 3 is together with y, then it does the opposite. Okay? So, is, see, this is same as if you move the 3 to the other side, it's like plus 3. Right? Minus 3 together with y is the same thing as having plus 3 on the right side. So, this actually moves up. So, what you have to think is that all of these numbers should be uh, understood as the opposite. So, uh, if you subtract 2 from the x, it actually makes the x coordinates increase by 2. If you subtract 3 from the y, it makes the y coordinates increase by 3. Uh, y coordinates increasing by 3 means that the graph goes up by 3. That's what I mean. All right? So, this picture here, here is going to, here's the center. The 0, 0 center is going to move 1, 2 steps right, and then 1, 2, 3 steps up. And the resulting graph would be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Here's 2, comma 3. And then uh, because this length is 3 and this radius is 4, uh, the, the circle is actually going to pass through this point here. And then because this is the center, you just rotate this around. And you can get this nice looking circle. Well, it doesn't look that nice, but yeah, that's what you're going to get. All right, so uh, try to do this on your own. Example one, sketch, let's say you have x plus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to, say, um, 4. Okay, so try drawing this. This is not fine because your, your center is here. You should be putting a circle around this point. That's what, that's, that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. I, I, I get the idea. It's just like, I suck. Yes. Come on. It, uh, then it should be more more, more this way, right? I, I agree, but yeah. I'm trying to get the past the point. I'm trying to get the past the right spots. This, this okay? Yeah. Sorry. going to be 
two steps to the left for plus two, and it will be four steps up. One, two, three, four. So negative two <laughs> comma four will be our center. And then what's the radius? Two. Square root of four, which is two. So it's going to be like this. And it should actually touch here, but it's it's okay if it doesn't touch. As long as you draw us like somewhat right size circle, that, that's fine. Okay, so for those who just came in, that's the answer. Okay. Uh, so negative of two, positive of four is going to be the center. Okay. Center is negative two, positive four. It would be neg negative of the, both of these. Okay. And then the radius will be square root of four. This one, two. you're not supposed to plug in anything in uh, X or Y, right? There's nothing to plug in here. It's right. just uh, you just read off where the center is, and you just read off where the radius, what the radius is. Okay. Then go to that center, negative 2, comma 4. Just draw a circle around it, right? Okay. But it has to be the same side, because this is 2. You go one, two, one, two steps down. As to pass through this point, it's just make it go around. That's the graph. Okay, so now comes the challenge, which is to mix the two things up. Okay. We learned how to do completing the squares, and we also learned the circle equation. Now we mix the two things up. Okay. So let me give you this question, example two. Uh, find the center and radius then sketch. Okay, where the graph is, the equation is x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 8y plus, say, 5 equal to 0. Suppose you have such a thing. What you do is just do the completing the square as we've done before. Okay, so you take this much you take this much. Uh, first, you think about this x squared plus 4x as x squared plus 4x plus 0. So your goal is to make the constant term at 0. Let's see how we do this. OK, what's the first step? Completing the square, first step. <coughs> uh, alpha of um, that number, so that will be uh, 2, right? Plus 2, right. OK. And then the next step, second step is 2 squared plus what gives you 0? 2 squared is? 4. 4. 4 plus what gives you 0? Negative 4. Negative 4. Done. So this part is the same as this. Agreed? OK. And then let's do the same thing for the second part. y squared minus 8y plus 5. So what do I put inside? y minus? What squared? Uh, four. Four, four, right? Then four squared is, negative four squared is positive 16, right? 16 plus what gives you five? 16 plus negative. Negative 11 gives you five, right? Okay, so that's almost <coughs> it. Now what happens is that if we now replace this by this and this by this, we have the following equation. We have x plus two squared minus 4 plus y minus 4 squared minus 11 equals to 0. And moving the, the, uh, these numbers to the other side gives you x plus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared. And then 
uh, 4, negative 4 becomes plus 4, negative 11 becomes plus 11, so you have 4 plus 11, which is 15. Okay, now tell me what the center is. What's the center? Ne negative 2. Negate this number, so it's negative 2, comma, four. positive 4. What's the radius? Square root, square root of 15. You take the square root of this number. Okay, so now I can draw the graph which is, you take uh, one, two steps left, negative two, and then you go one, two, three, four, that's positive four, so this is the, the center of the circle, negative two comma four, and then, uh, well you see, square root of 15 is less than square root of 16, so square root of 16 is four, so square root of 15 is a slightly less than four. Uh, and, and because this length is 4, this length is 4, so you go slightly less than 4, so let's say this is a point, and you just go around, okay? This is the center, so it, it goes around. So that's, that's the answer. Okay, so now it's your turn to try. Do the same thing for the following. x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus uh, 2y plus 7 equals to 0. For this one, sometimes the order is not in the same way, so you really have to think of these two get two as one thing, and these three as one thing. Okay, so you're trying to complete the square for x squared minus eight x, and also complete the square for y squared minus two y plus seven. Okay, so try try to do it. This is uh, what do you do first? thing x minus four. Four, right? And then there's nothing here, so it's negative 4 squared plus what gives you 0? Negative 4 squared. What's negative 4 squared? Positive 16. 16 plus what gives you 0? I mean, 16 plus 0. 16 plus what gives you 0? Negative 16. Negative 16, okay. That's what you have. For this one, what do I put? Y minus 1, minus one squared because it's a half of 2, right? And plus 6. Negative 1 squared. <laughs> well, I didn't ask you. What? All right. Okay. So you have negative one squared. What's that? One. And then one plus what gives you seven? Six. Six. Okay. I apologize. All right. And then, uh, therefore, this this entire thing on the left side will now become x minus four squared minus sixteen plus y minus one squared plus six equal to zero, okay? Uh -huh. And then negative 16 plus six will be negative 10. Moving to the other side, you get positive 10, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, what's the center? Four, positive four. Four comma? One. one. What's the radius? Six, 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 Square root of? Ten. Ten. So now we can draw that. Square root of ten is just slightly bigger than three, because three is square root of nine. So you can draw one, two, three, four, and then one. And then it's about one, two, three, slightly above three, so it should go up to here. And then you draw a circle, which will be like that. Okay. So that's the graph. Now let me give you an alternative way that people do the completing the square, which might be easier for some of you because you, you, you might be more familiar with this other method. 
So the, the way you do this is uh, take half of negative 8 just like before, okay? Uh, which is negative 4. Square that number, what's that? 16. 16, right? So what you do is you add 16 both sides. Same thing here, what's half of negative 2? Negative 2 half is negative 1. If you square it, you get 1, right? So you plus, put 1 both sides. And then plus 7. Remember, we added 16 both sides and we, we added 1 both sides. Is that good? Now, see if you can factor this. What is this if you factor it? What are two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to negative 8? Plus 4 minus 4. I no, mean, minus, four minus 4 minus 4. Yeah. So you get x minus 4 written twice, which is same as squared, right? What about this one? Two numbers that multiply to 1 and add to negative 2. Y minus 1, y minus, which is y minus 1 squared. Okay, so this much now becomes that. And then you can subtract 7 both sides to get rid of this 7 on the left side, and 17 minus 7 is 10. So you get the same exact result as before, as some of you might consider this as the easier one. Now, the, the downside of this method is that it only works if there's an equation so that there's other side to add to. Um, so that's why I like this one better, but, but it's up to you. Uh, either way, uh, if it works, if it works, okay? Okay, so for this one, if you want to uh, do it this old way that I said, you really have to think of it like this one and this one with both as plus zero. So for this one you say it's x plus 2 squared, because half of 4 is 2. And then 2 squared is 4. 4 plus what gives you nothing? Negative 4. Negative 4. For this one, half of 6 is 3. And then 3 squared plus what gives you nothing? Negative 9. Negative 9. Right? And now you add the 4 and 9 to the other side, which gives you x plus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals to 4 plus 9 is 13. 13 plus 12 is 25. Right. Okay, what's the center? Negative 2, negative 3. Negative 2, negative 3. What's the radius? 5. Square root of 5, which is? Square root of 25. Uh, square root of 25, which is equal to 5. And then you can draw this graph as uh, 1, 2, negative 2, and then 1, 2, 3, negative 3, to this point. And since this is 5, it should be going all the way up to here. So this will be the graph that you get. That's it. That's about. That's all about the circle Both. equation. It's not that bad, right? Yes. Uh, are, are we going to review for the final? Yeah, on Thursday we'll be. But this will be also included in the final. That's why I'm doing this.